Hey, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to load and arrange reference images ready to start modeling. It's quite simple really, just go to View, Image Plane, Import Image. I'm currently in my side orthographic review, so I'll import the side image. Changing my viewport view with the spacebar and hovering over which view I want, I will add the rest of the images into the scene. Some of my images don't line up great, so I'm just going to scale them until I get the correct proportions. You might find it easier to do so in perspective mode, you can see them all together. So lining up the roof in the bottom part of the car, I'm just going to kind of get the scale like that correct. Okay, so I'm going to move that one up to the back. This was obviously rotated the wrong way around, so I'm just going to hit E on the keyboard and J to snap, and just rotate it around like so. Again, the scale is slightly off, so let's just scale this down to the widest part of the car, which is the bumpers, and reposition it until we get the two bumper lines here and here aligning how we want it to. Okay, right, so we can push that down and push that to the side. Okay, oh yeah, the other thing I'm going to do is in the orthographic views is just line the wheels up with the center grid point here. And same with the front. And I'm also going to line the front up in the center there. And put that in there. Brilliant. So now on top view, what I'm going to do is just draw out a cube the size of the car, like so. And um, we can just draw that up like that. So you're able to see if it's starting to align properly. So if we add another edge down the middle there, and just scale these out for the bumpers. You should see that if it's hitting the bumpers on the top view, it is also hitting the bumpers on the orthographic views like it is so. Brilliant. So, then, so you know that's working then. And then again, if this is at the top of the lights in this view, it's going to be on the top of the lights of this view. So it really is that simple. So once you've done that, you can literally just start modeling. There's not much to image planes. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you got stuck at any point, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.